everyone welcome to my channel so today we are going to discuss about uh, open NAN in very simple way okay so uh, I think everyone is aware about that uh, base station is made up of two entities uh, that is known as RU that is remote unit and your PBU that is your baseband unit okay so uh, if you go back to pass so your base station looks like uh, this this is our base station okay uh, cabinet is located uh, near your base station like this say this is our cabinet and inside this cabinet your radio unit and VBU unit are located okay and here is your antenna connected and through this antenna this uh, cabinet is uh, connected okay this is your traditional base station you can say okay now some enhancement has been made okay and remote unit is replaced by remote radio unit so it is let me draw the diagram this is our antenna okay and uh, an rru is introduced in base station okay and this rru is connected to BBU. Okay, and this is further connected to your core network. Your network. It could be in a in case of 2G, it would be MSC, MGW, and in case of 4G, it will be your MME and SDW. These entities will be present. So, uh, radio unit uh, has been removed from this from this cabinet, okay, and it is uh, connected closer to this antenna, okay. Okay, so this enhancement has been done because uh, in traditional base station the losses are present here, right? loss uh, means uh, there is there are some loss of signals okay path loss you can say or cable loss you can say cable loss was there okay uh, in this scenario okay to remove this cable loss this remote unit is removed from this cabinet and uh, connected closer to antenna okay this is our antenna this is our RRU okay so uh, a new interface has been introduced which is known as SIPRI okay we call this interface as SIPRI and this BBU is connected to <coughs> your core node core node or core network okay and this interface is known as your backhaul D H means backhaul. Okay, means <coughs> okay. So uh, this is also you can say this is also a traditional way of installing a base station. Okay. So let me take another base station. Okay, this is another base station. Okay. So an antenna would be connected here, okay, and an RRU will also be connected near to this antenna, okay, and then your BBU will be there. This is your SIPRI interface to this BBU and this BBU is now connected to this core network 
again this is your Cipri and now this is your Pecola okay so uh, you can see each suppose this is your um, suppose this is your base station 1 and this is your base station 2 so you can see each of the base station will have their own BBU and RRU okay so now here we can see we can say base station consists of uh, your remote radio unit okay why remote because now this radio unit is remotely to this BBU okay are you plus BBU okay so this is also traditional way of installing a base station now uh, let me clear this part okay so uh, so here you can see that each base station will have their own RRU and BBU okay now uh, this kind of uh, RAN is known as your DRAN okay DRAN means distributed RAN let me write it here DRAN means distributed RAN Okay, why distributed and because RRU and BBU are distributed to each and every base station. Okay, now enhancement has been made. Okay, so let's see what has been done. This is your base station one. Okay, this is your antenna and this is your RRU radio you will remote radio unit okay this is our base station 2 this is our antenna and here RRU is connected to this antenna okay so now what has been done uh, instead of installing bbu at each of the base station a centralized bbu has been connected means use you can say bbu okay you can say this is BB, bbu for uh, base station one so let me note it with bbu one and this is your BBU 2 ok so these are installed not near to base station ok now this RRU is connected to this BBU and this RRU is connected to this BBU now this BBU is further connected to your core node Okay, so this is known as Cipri. Okay, Cipri. And uh, this is also known as Front Hall. Also. Front Hall. Front Hall and Back Hall. Okay, so this kind of uh, installation of RAN is known as centralized RAN that is CRAN okay so what here what has been done BBU is now means instead of installing BBU at each and every cell base station we have centralized the location of BBU here okay 
Now, uh, cloud ran is quite similar to this C ran. Okay. So C ran is done. So let's see how cloud ran looks. After few more enhancements, cloud run has been introduced. So, what has been done? Remember, this is C run. This is this is C run. Okay. Now, to understand cloud run, I have to remove this this part. So now what will happen here? BBU are means we are going to use BBU in pool. Okay. Means uh, at centralized location, multiple BBUs uh, has been installed. BBU. This is one BBU. This is another BBU. And let's we have multiple sites or you can say 10 sites okay so this bbu this bbu in bbu so it's not necessary that we'll have 10 bbu in pool okay so we are going to use the resources of bbu uh, in pool okay I mean, suppose this uh, okay suppose this base station uh, needs uh, more capacity okay so then uh, the more BBU resources will locate it to this base station one okay this is base station one this is base station two you can say suppose uh, near to this base station uh, stadium is there okay I'm just giving you an example suppose this is oh, sorry Suppose uh, suppose a uh, stadium is near to this base station. Okay, this is stadium and cricket match is going on in this stadium. Okay, so now what will happen? This base station will require more uh, capacity to serve the uh, UEs. Okay, so what uh, means in that case. Uh, all the resources or BBU will be allocated to this base station and once the match has been done then those resources will be used for another base station okay so uh, we can say uh, this is this pool we can represent it by cloud as well because we are using in we are using resources uh, in dynamic way you can say okay so let me draw cloud here so it will be more better okay so what was happening in uh, centralized run each bbu is dedicated to uh, base stations okay but now we are using the bbu resources in pool okay so we have seen uh, d ran okay dynamic uh, sorry distributed RAM we have seen okay we have seen centralized RAM okay and we have seen cloud RAM also okay now in next lecture we are going to uh, see how uh, VRAN look like that is your virtual RAM which is followed by your ORAN Okay, we are left with these topics and I will cover these things, uh, these topics in next lecture. Thank you.